Interventions with a King. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack, Cardiovascular Interventions. I'm Habib Samadi from Emory University. I'm one of the associate editors of Jack Cardiovascular Interventions. I'm here with uh, Dr. Rashira Glazer, who is from Christiana Medical Center in Delaware. And uh, she will be publishing a very interesting paper in the December issue of Jack Cardiovascular Interventions. So Rashira, tell me a little bit about what your hypothesis was and what you were studying. Well, we examined patients who underwent primary percutaneous coronary intervention for ST elevation myocardial infarction. And our hypothesis was that patients who underwent intervention during off hours um, in the middle of the night, for example, had um, poorer outcomes than those undergoing intervention during routine hours. Um, we also uh, asked the question of what the factors were that was associated with this. Is this primarily biology or is this a systems issue or a combination? Um, and then finally, we wanted to examine the effects of time. Um, for instance, has this changed in the last several years in any way? Well, all very important and timely issues uh, in our field. Um, how did you go about answering these important questions? Well, to do this, we looked at the NHLBI's dynamic registry, mm -hmm. and the dynamic is a very rich registry because it recruits waves of all patients undergoing percutaneous intervention at multiple centers throughout the country um, over the course of um, years, and um, we looked at, obviously, those patients amongst the registry who underwent primary percutaneous coronary intervention. What, what uh, size of a population were you studying? Uh, well, the registry itself is several thousand patients, um, and then the primary angioplasty patients is, represents a smaller percentage of those, so a couple of thousand patients, approximately, is what we looked at. And we looked at them over a wide number of years, 1989 to 2005. Okay. So what did you find? Um, interestingly, we found that uh, patient in this um, cohort, patients who underwent angioplasty during off hours, which we defined as um, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., so overnight, mm -hmm. um, had uh, poorer outcomes compared with those who underwent angioplasty for ST elevation and MI um, during routine hours. And that held true even um, if you adjust for the different variables and confounders that could affect that. Um, and we also found that uh, when looking at whether it was really a systems issue or a biologic issue, it was really a combination of the two. Uh, for biology, um, factors such as presentation with cardiogenic shock, uh, multivessel disease, and a completely occluded vessel at the time of angioplasty um, were uh, important in terms of how patients so, did. So let me understand this. You're saying that patients that are biologically sicker tend to present at off hours? They do, yes. Um, and it's not clear why that is, whether we're recognizing that they're presenting with infarction when they're sicker or whether they're sleeping and that allows for them to present later in their course um, did you sicker. Did you look at symptom to balloon times? We did. Um, interestingly, there was a small difference between the two, but it wasn't statistically significant. Um, and we, kind of, we tried to get at this another way by looking at weekends versus um, weekdays. And we found that um, you know, a weekend when an act activation of a cath lab and you know door to balloon times may be different mm -hmm. um, didn't affect things as much as you might think so it really still held that the nighttime had um, some different characteristic about it compared okay. to the day very interesting so what are the take-home points um, so I think there are basically three take-home points one is that at least in this registry uh, patients who present during off hours do have um, seem to have poorer outcomes than those who present during routine hours uh, when undergoing primary angioplasty. Uh, second is that the there really is a combination of factors, um, both systems and biology, that are important. Procedural things such as dissection and use of adjunctive devices is lower during off hours, but patients are also sicker. They are present more often in cardiogenic shock 
and uh, with multivessel disease um, during off hours. And then finally, that these things um, that all patients have, we've, we've been doing better over time. All patients are doing better um, as we approach 2005 in the registry, but that the differences unfortunately still held true. The um, outcomes were still better during routine hours, even in the later waves of the registry. Well, very interesting. Thank you very much for coming, Dr. Glazer, and sharing this with us. This is a very important topic, and we look forward to more of your work in this field. Thank you. Have a question or comment about a CBN story? Send us an email at cbnfeedback at acc.org.